what you think of my play. Me? Oh, funny, funny stuff. What was your favorite part? Refresh my memory. Vis-a-vis -vis which scene? Vis-a-vis -vis the entire play. Are you sure you read the play? I will be once you broad stroke it for me. 32-year-old woman has a brother getting out of jail in Detroit. She has to sign to be his legal guardian because he's underage. The fly in the ointment is that he's brutally murdered their parents and partially eaten them. And then she recalls, under hypnotherapy, that he dismembered them to save her from years of unwarranted sexual abuse. It's not long before a young Japanese architectural student is dismembered and partially eaten just down the street. Yeah. When the same thing happens to the mailman, it seems like more than a coincidence. So the brother is arrested and put on trial. The woman is the star witness because she believes in the brother, along with a determined defense attorney named Mr. Wilson. To make a long but fascinating second act short, the brother is found innocent and she returns home to find a yellow sticker from the post office telling her that she's got a package. When she goes to get it, she opens it and inside is, drum roll, the partially eaten head of Mr. Wilson. Huh. Now, why would the girl's brother partially eat the head of the guy who defended him? I'd appreciate some honest response from a professional. Um, were there some pages missing? What do you mean? I mean, were there some pages that weren't included? You mean some pages that were absent? I mean, were there some pages that weren't present? You mean pages that were supposed to be there but weren't? Yeah. Was that intentional? If it worked for you, you bet it was. I think I have some questions. Good. Then I've done my job. I, I need to read it again. Sensational. I'm glowing inside. With the missing pages. And then you hire me? No, and then you come back and we continue the process. That isn't good enough, pal. We've had a meet and greet, a call back, and now you sit there and tell me that I have to come back for a third meeting? Welcome to Hollywood. You're one of three finalists. No. You only have two finalists because I'm not coming back without a guaranteed job. Fair enough. Continued success in regional theater. Okay. I'll grant you one more meeting just as long as it's breakfast inclusive. No sweat, Ricky. Thanks to you, all the finalists get breakfast. You're welcome. No, no, no.